think it, someone said it was like either zero or close to zero degrees. So I'm pretty excited to get warm again. Good morning, people of the vlogosphere. Again, Mark has finished eating, but I'm still eating. Yeah, I just rushed through eating so I can capture Alana eating in every vlog. Today's specialty, instant coffee, which we are making in the most lazy way possible. We went to an A&W and got hot water, because we're, we're still too lazy to boil water in the morning. But uh, it's it's not terrible, like it's not good coffee, but for the convenience, I'm not complaining. We got our awesome little hand-painted mugs. And it's good. Considering this whole thing was $5, Saves us a whole whack of money. That is a lot of money. We are again in Jasper today. We went to the information center, got the lowdown on a bunch of awesome hikes, and today we are hiking up Whistler Peak. Whistler's Peak. Are you breaking? What's going on over there? I kind of had to burp, but I was trying to mute it so I wouldn't be gross on the vlog. The it's one that has a gondola, but we're too cheap to do the gondola. So we're gonna hike for six hours and gain 700 meters of elevation. It's basically it's just dead. switchbacks the entire time. In and then what are we having for lunch, Mark? What are we so excited about? Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. Any any 90s kids are like, I know that. Oh, we are at the start of the Whistler's Trail now. Uh, the elevation map is pretty much just an angle like that. It's uh, more than a thousand meters in elevation gain. And we can see the end from here, so this is where we need to go. Way up there is the Sky Tram top gondola lift part. And look, I'm using my Osprey. You got an Baby Osprey booty. For the first time. <laughs> now you look even more like a mom. Yeah, we have definitely entered the zigzagging portion of this, and the legs are feeling it. How are you doing back there? Good. I mean, I think this part's been way easier than the beginning. The beginning, you didn't really zigzag. You're just going up. You're just straight. So you didn't have much of a break on your legs. But this part, it's good. So for those of you who have been following the vlog, this literally is marathon times four. Yeah. Like it's just it's climbing that four times. It's just constant slope. It is it is pushing us. And we are holding out for that awesome euphoric we made it feeling oh. and sandwiches. Yeah, that euphoric feeling of fighting into a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Can you tell we're food driven <laughs> at all on this vlog? Feels like you're on a treadmill and it's like on the steepest incline. Can you show them the brave who walk? We're walking to that. And they're not even switchbacks. You can see it up there. They're pretty much like. Look okay. at that trail. Look at that trail. That probably doesn't show it, but there's the hill and it's like just kind of straight, straight up. up. This is definitely the most elevation gain we've ever done. I think like six or seven hundred is the most we've done. This is adding another almost 400. Yeah, you're walking along and you're like, this isn't bad, like, like we could do this all day. And you get to these upper switchbacks and it's nuts. <laughs> okay. We can actually see our car from way up here. Or at least the parking lot. 
And it's way down there. Also, it's kind of neat because you can see like the way they settle the Jasper. It kind of forms a J just next to the river. So now that we're up here, it's the most important time. It's sandwich time. Oh. Well, that was the most delicious peanut butter jelly sandwich I've ever had in my life. We were planning on trying to uh, get down in a cheaper way on the gondola, but uh, apparently it's 22 bucks and that's a half price ride on the way down. We, uh, we heard from a local that they don't often check tickets, but that but they proved were. to be false. <laughs> uh, so, now that we've just, well, now that I've just eaten a lot of food, it's time to go back down the mountain. <laughs> Feeling great. The bright side is, once we get down this mountain a little bit, it'll at least not be freezing freaking cold. I think it, someone said it was like either zero or close to zero degrees. So I'm pretty excited to get warm again. Oh, we have more of these like fluffy, whatever these Dr. Seuss-like truffle tree things. They're so cute. They look like little creatures. We're using a Bluetooth speaker and sometimes I get a little excited and I like to speed ahead of Alana. And she also likes to go second because I'm like the first line of defense against uh, any kind of animal. Well, he's got the bear spray on him. But, uh, so we're using Bluetooth and it's basically like her leash because, or I guess my leash, because if I go too far, it cuts out. And that's how I know I'm too far ahead of her. Are you training me? Hello, Rav. Oh, hey, Kai. So we crushed it today. Yeah. Our bodies are definitely feeling it, but uh, completed the 16K in just under five hours? Yeah, so it took us three hours, just around three hours to get up, um, and just under two hours to get down, which is, I think, pretty good, because, I mean, it's all uphill, and then it's all downhill, and all the hikers out there know, downhill is just as hard as uphill. Oh yeah, it's punishing. On your knees. On your joints. Yeah, it's it's not like physically huffing and puffing tiring, but your body your body hurts. It you, feels it. You feel it. Going up the mountain and just hiking, you can't help but feel good about yourself, feel accomplished. I mean, and, yeah, anytime you do a it, hike like that, it just feels good. It makes you feel pretty awesome. Yeah, so. mentally, emotionally, like physically. I, I'm just super proud of us because we really crushed it today. Yeah, we're starting to actually get some proper mountain legs. High five, girl. Good job, team. I actually got a shin splint for once during that hike, which has literally never happened to me ever in my life. And Alana suggested to keep my foot raised up high. So, uh, I think that'll do, right? I pretend I have medical knowledge because everyone else in my family is related to, you know, nurses or chiropractors. I don't actually know, but I feel like elevation never hurts, right? Rice. Well, technically elevation just hurt me, so... <laughs> actually, the loss of elevation hurt you, so <laughs> there you go. What's this nonsense? <laughs> we didn't actually buy none, I just wanted to make that terrible joke. I like bridges! Whee! Elena, what do you call it when you make a lot of money selling lemonade? Capitalism. Sourdough. <laughs> it's an original joke. Dinner time. Feeling pretty pooped now though, in the best way. Ah, <laughs> uh, gotta love that like post hike tiredness slash euphoria. 